all right guys welcome to deja vu tarot i am back with another reading this is going to be for twin flames with no communication i am going to use my twin flame love messages deck no communication so this is a person you haven't heard from in a very long time or from a person if you're wondering man what, why is this person not reaching out i know they feel the same thing i feel right but you're trying to figure out why they're not reaching out so these are this is the deck fresh deck okay so bear with me they sleep but this deck is just gonna express what your divine masculine or your divine feminine is has not expressed to move on a little bit to you okay so like and subscribe to my channel if you're not a twin flame don't worry about it this is for twin flames okay soul partners people that are having spiritual connections and bonds and y'all haven't talked to your person in a long long time okay so dear lord show us what we need to see okay so just sit back relax this message is for you all right holy spirit what do the person the person on their mind have to say dang let me get it out have to say to the collective that they may not never hear them say yeah i want to say yeah i want to talk spirit won't talk know this okay go ahead and give me a message it says the universe is fighting for our souls together so just understand universe got y'all back the universe wants y'all to come together just as much as you do collective the universe has got your back they're fighting for y'all in the 5d on up okay fighting for y'all souls to be together because you got people that don't want y'all to be together that's why some of y'all not communicating it's because it's dark energies dark musicians dark people that is hating on you that want to see you fall okay okay i'm moving on with my life so yes they are trying to move on from these karmics they're actually trying to move on for you too collective honestly because some of y'all don't want your person no more some of y'all y'all want to move on but in all reality you can't because why the universe is fighting for you right the universe is saying hey hey man you keep on trying to move forward, but you actually got a twin flame that's out there waiting on you. So what you gonna do? Get 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 in the get in the light. Raise your vibration, right? They're rooting on for you guys. Okay, what else? Here? So they're moving on. They trying to move on away from you, but they can't. It's so strong. They keep thinking about you. Hmm. Some of them is moving on because they are afraid of hurting you, collective. They are. They don't want to hurt you because, once again, if, if your person is not healed or healing or in a higher vibration to where it matches your vibration, they will hurt you, right? And it may not even be intentional. It's just something that they're going to do because they're not healed, right? They're doing things on the impulse. They're doing things. Yes, exactly. Exactly what I just said. We both know it's time for us to heal. Yes, they need to heal. And that's why they're they're out there in that dark. They they don't have a flame lit, right? So they need to heal. And they, and until they heal, they're gonna continue to ghost you. They say, please just don't hate me for ghosting you. You didn't deserve it. Okay, so they know they know that you didn't deserve them ghosting you. Some of y'all, you know, the runners running away from you. Okay, but just know they do feel guilty about what they did. It says, I feel guilty about my actions and what I said to you. Okay, so they do. They feel guilty, collective. Okay? But they know they need to heal before they come back. So that's why they haven't reached out to you at all. Right? But they are always around. Their energy is always around. They are always there for you in their hearts. They are. They think about you. They know they're there for you. They wonder what you're doing, what you're saying, how you're doing. If you got a platform, they probably watch you every day, right? So they know 
who you are. They know that they're here for you. The universe is fighting for y'all to be together. But also, this person know that they need to heal. They know if they come back not healed, it's going to hurt you. And they love you that much that they don't want to hurt you. Like, so they don't. They may not seem like it by not communicating, but that's what it is. And you don't want your person coming back not healed or not on the level where you're at at all anyway. Because you really never healed, right? It's just healing. But they, you can heal to a certain level to the point where they can make your, raise your vibration. It's saying, I love you today, tomorrow, and always. I was just a fool for not a minute earlier. So this masculine do realize, now this one, they realize that they do. They do love you. They love you. They've been loving you. They love you today, tomorrow, and always. And they feel like a fool because they was denying. They was in denial. This masculine 555, five, five, yeah, they, they have a change of heart. Like, they're changing their perspective on the connection period right some of them ran they didn't understand the connection some of them wasn't woke yet right they wasn't woke but now they're starting to understand and they were in denial a lot of them was in denial because they wasn't expecting to fall in love with you collective they wasn't they was a player some of them was a player some of them had options some of them was married they didn't want to give it up right <laughs> They wanted to play around, and then they met you, and they, they, oh, man, they weren't expecting to fall in love. They realized no one compares to you, okay? They they tried to run. They could be running. They could be in another relationship now, and they realizing, mm, 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 this is not the one that I want. This ain't the one. And some of them knew exactly who you were. They fell in love with you the moment they looked saw you they knew they was that you was the one but they were in the denial like i say they asked the universe for you and they couldn't believe that you came around okay so some of them just scared some of them is in denial but they coming around it say i know i was wrong by not talking to you would you be open to talk now so would some of y'all be open to talk now i feel like i'm playing a dating site like hook up like the universe <laughs> is trying to see can y'all talk they want to know will you be open to talk collective that's what the cars are saying okay you may not be talking to them I know the divine masculines and the divine feminists take your pick. They hurt. They hurt them spiritual connections. Ooh, they hurt. But it does lead you to excel, right? You you have to go through the pain to gain something. So you gotta understand that this is a process. This is a part of the twin flame journey. They do want to open up and talk to you, but they trying to see are you able to be open and talk. Some of y'all are, right? As you heal, you start forgiving your person. You start realizing that a lot of the stuff that they did, half of them was under spell work, half of them was in denial, half of them was, you hear that plane? Thank you, spirit. Half of them, they just didn't know, you know? Some of them was in relationships, so they didn't know how to take this, you know? So they pushed you away, collective, they did. Exactly what I just said. Thank you. I love you so much, but I keep running from you, and I don't understand why I do this. <laughs> the runner and chaser effect, right? They don't understand why they're running, but they don't understand they're running from themselves. That's why they're running, because their spirit and their soul know that they're not ready for it. It says, I'm afraid for getting too serious. I was hurt before. Yeah, some of them are still living in the past, you know. Some of them feel like, okay, uh, she going to do the same thing that she that the last relationship was going to do. And that's not true. But it's just inner healing that they got to do. They can't see that because they're not healed. They're still clinging on to the past. So you got to let go of the past in order for the spirit to evolve you and bless you to something new. That is the twin flame journey. It's not always about the person. But the person don't understand that you're running from yourself. So stop running, look in the mirror, and understand who you are. 
but they never expected to fall in love with you so quickly, Divine Feminine. They didn't. <laughs> they didn't, Divine Feminine. They was in denial. They was trying to be a player. You came along and rocked their world. And they wasn't ready for what you was ready for. That's just because you was connected. You knew Most High gave you the message. And you tried to relate it. But they wasn't ready to receive it. See, you got to be ready to receive you can say a message all day. That's why we do these every day. Because if somebody ain't ready to receive what we're trying to say to the collective, once you pass that level, you'll be ready to receive these messages. I am so in love, and say, with you. You are so perfect to love. You are so perfect to me, sorry. So they know you perfect, collective. They know. They know no one compares to you. They tried it. Trust me. They tried it. They thought it was lust. They tried to go get married. Some of them ran to the karmics, did spell work on you. And they are still in love. This person's so much in love with you, they don't know what to do. They say, no matter who I am with my thoughts, always lead me back to you. Exactly. And it's going to always lead back to you. My masculine, the my feminine is always. No matter who they get. Some of y'all, this person never experienced the connection. So it's all new, right? It's all new to him. So they got to learn how to trust. You got to learn how to forgive, right? Please forgive me. So you got to learn how to forgive and, he, and, and trust. And he got to learn how to trust and be honest and own up to himself. They wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can deny I can't deny I'm falling for you. Exactly what I was saying. They wasn't expecting to love you, collective. They weren't expecting to fall in love. Okay. They thought this was a one night stand. He quit it and then I'm done. So the last two cards, and I'm gonna end this. It says, I'm so sorry for messing everything up. You deserve so much more. Yes, you do, collective. This person is very regretful. This person is sorry. And this is my thing. Even though if you don't take this person back, y'all do need some type of closure. You know, just talk, you know. If this person want to come back and just spill the beans, you could just listen to this person. You don't have to put them down. They feel worse. Trust me, they feel worse. Yeah. They sit there and hide their desires. They hide them. But see, they're not going to be able to hide them no more. Okay, they only hiding because they know they're not healed or they they're not on your level yet, collective. So they gotta hide it, and they can't hide it no more. It's gonna be like a pipe. It's gonna bust. This person might rush to you and just tell you everything and go, "I love you," and you are gonna be looking like, "What the heck is wrong with this?" <laughs> you in a plane? Okay. They gonna burst in, they gonna be crying and yelling and hooping and hollering and you gonna be looking at this person like, is he all right? It's just what it is because this person be hiding their feelings, they be hiding their passion, they be hiding their desire. So it's gonna explode. It, 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 universe is pushing it on them anyway. He ain't got much time, okay? And the last card is say, I know what you mean to me. I am ready to be with only you. Yeah, some of your masculines are ready, guys. So get ready. Y'all masculines, some of these masculines is moving on from them karmic cycles. And spirits say it ain't over between you and them. It is not over. This person will be back. But please understand they just need space right now. Okay? But they think about you every day. It's, they think about you so much, collective. It's scaring them. Okay? They keep reminiscing. They remember how you used to laugh and talk for hours on the phone. They reminisce about everything. Some of y'all went on dates and dated this person. They reminisce. They still love you. You may not think so. It's that I still love you. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. I feel like some of you, this person, think you don't love them. Okay, now just be careful. Some of these people is coming back to trick you. You hit a plane, all right? But that's very few, not all. Majority of the masculines, if they're doing the work, they're going to come in and confess. Yeah, thank you. Karmic connections, they're moving on from these karmic con connections. And spirits say they will take action. They will, okay? 
Please believe it. They're going to take action. Maybe in the future. They do hope to have a future one day. Right now, they're healing. In the future, they may go on and take action. A lot of other people is interfering right now, trying to control the situation. So, you just got to be patient, all right? You just got to be patient. But that has been your reading, 15, 15 on the clock. Changes is coming, guys. So, just be ready, okay? They're secretly obsessed. They watching you, spying on you. They holding back their passion. But it ain't going to be too much longer, Okay, but also what the masculine has to understand is that the desire and the yearning is because you're not healing. So it's, it's, it's the more you heal in a twin flame journey, the less of the yearning and the uh, become right. But you gotta heal. If you don't heal, you're gonna be obsessed. Even if the more stronger twin, you know, the stronger twin still think about their partner, right? It's never gonna stop. You're going to always think about your partner. But like I say, as you heal, it's not as bad. It ain't obsessive. It ain't like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't look at his picture today or if you don't call him today, it's not like the end of the world. So, they just got to heal. And you don't want nobody coming back obsessed with you, collective. That's not a help. That's a very low vibrational energy. You don't want nobody obsessed. Um, now, do you think of your person all the time? Yes. It is a little obsession to it to a degree. But, like I say, it's because it's inner childhood wounds that they have to heal from. Right? And it gets better over time. Alright, collective. So, that has been your reading. I am going to leave it there. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. But just understand, they are moving on from these karmic connections. Okay? They are. They are. You're moving on. Some of y'all are too. And just know if your person do come back, hear them out. Just get yourself some closure. And others of you, you know your twin. If you if, if your twin been attacking you, I'm not saying take this person back. You know they person been attacking you, then don't don't do that. Make sure you ask God if that's something you need to do. A lot of these masculines was under spell work. They didn't know they were getting tricked by the karmics and they were doing things. So it is going to be a, a part of a forgiveness for you, Divine Feminine, in the end. Because technically they was not themselves, right? They wasn't woke. So everybody's on different levels. So what I'm saying is, if you're able to hear your person out, to get closure when they come back, and to forgive, to move forward, do so. Right? It's all about your healing as well, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Is y'all healed enough to, you know what I'm saying, to get closure, to have those conversations? That's up to y'all, right? But I'm here to relay the message. Your masculine do love you. Your masculine is just afraid and they're not ready. And you don't want nobody not ready, right? You want to just make sure you continue to heal. Because if you are the driving force of the twin flame journey, then you need to be healing anyway. That's what's going to trigger your masculine to heal, right? So we all got to take accountability for our actions when it comes to this twin flame journey. Nobody is not a point finger thing. All of us is included in this journey, which means if your masculine is getting on your nerves, then you need to find out why. And then you need to take that and clear it and heal it, right? To elevate yourself. And that's kind of how it goes. <laughs> so... This healing journey is never the end. It's never going to end. But you want to make sure when you're healing, you're healing and going up and elevating. So that's the main important thing. You want to be making sure you're healing yourself. And then your twin, hey, he got to catch up. He got to catch up. And by the looks of these cards, they will be catching up pretty soon. Because they ain't going to be able to stay away for much longer. All right, collector. So that has been your reading. Once again, what goes around, always come back around again. Deja vu tarot. Peace.